Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this really simple and easy infographic in Word. So let's open a new document and you can see my cursor at the top here. I'm just going to press the return key a few times, then go to insert, shapes, go all the way down and insert this shape here, click and draw out the shape. So for this one, I'm going to go for a nice rounded end like this. And then the height of this, if you click on it, go to shape format and go over here, you'll see height. So for this one, I'm just going to choose four and press enter, just move that out. Then I'm going to go back up to insert, then deselect, go back up to insert, shapes, go to this shape here, click and draw out the shape. Move it over the top, go to shape format, go to height, select four and press enter. Then go over here to shape outline and select no outline and shape fill. And sorry, click on this other shape here and again, no outline. To change the color of these, you simply go to shape fill, then pick a color of your choice. So I'm having a combination of this color here and also a dark purple. So let's change this one and you'll know, see exactly what I mean. And then to make this shape one, let's just move this over slightly. Select both of them by holding down the command or control key, go to group and select group. Now we've got one complete shape. Now we're going to insert the text. So go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out a text box. So in here, you put place your text. You can just begin to type. I'm just going to paste my text in. Then you can just stretch out this text box to get all of your text in. Then go to shape format, then go to outline, select no outline, shape fill, no fill. And then to change the color of the text, go to the home tab, go to the text color here and select white. So here, if I just look at the text, if you double click inside, you can see my cursor is flashing. Go to the home tab and you can see this is the font I've used and this is the font size here. And on this one, the font size has gone down to 10. And you can see roughly how much text I can include. And again, you can move these text boxes to adjust the text in your text box. So because I want a circle here of an image, I need to make sure the text is over far enough. If I deselect, you can also see the margin at the top and the bottom, and you can equal that out by using your arrow keys. Once you're happy with that, go to insert, picture, picture from file, select a picture of your choice, click insert, now, when you insert an image, you won't be able to move it. So go to wrap text in front of text. And in order to make this a circle, you have to crop your images to a square. So you can see this is currently a rectangle. So select it, go to crop, select aspect ratio and select one to one. You can move your image backwards and forwards. You can decrease the size of your image but if you do, you must hold down the shift key. So click, hold the shift key down and move it. Once you're happy with the placement, just press the return key and go back up to crop, crop to shape and click the circle. So for this, we're going to put an outline around the outside of this image. So select it, go to picture format, go to format pane over here go to the bucket icon and we can adjust the fill and line color. So go to line, click on the drop down, go to solid line, go to color. I'm going to select white and then the width of this, I'm going to put at six points and press enter. Then I'm going to go to picture format and over to height. Make sure this box is checked so it will keep the ratio of both. Now you can just see here that we're not quite a square. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm just going to put this one at three and this one at three. 
and press enter. Now I can check that box again to make sure these ratios are kept as they are. Then we can move this over to the edge here and this is largely done by eye. You can use the alignment tool. So select the image, select the background, sorry, holding down the command or control key, go to align. You can go to align to middle and it should line up these two boxes here. But that is only if the margins at the top and the bottom are identical. If they're not, then you might find there's a bit of an anomaly at the top and bottom of those margins. Try to make this here the same width as the margins at the top and bottom. And if you have a problem with your text, you can just move it if you want to, or you can click on the shape itself and then just make it a little bit wider. Click on the text box and then you can move that over. And the important thing to do is make sure this box is absolutely exactly as you want it because we're going to copy and paste it. So select everything by holding down the command or control key, go to picture format, go to group and select group. And then let's just zoom out. So the easiest way to copy and paste is to select the image, hold down your alter option key, click and drag. Alternatively, you can go to the home tab, copy, deselect, paste, and you can keep pasting until you've got the right number of boxes. So I'm going to need five. We'll just space them out. Then for this one, I'm actually going to flip it. So select it, go to shape format, go to rotate, and I'm going to select flip horizontal. You can see that's been flipped around. I'm going to do the same one with this one, rotate, flip horizontally. And then what we can do is just move these out slightly. And then I'm going to do all the alignment at the end, but I'm now just going to customize these. So what you'll need to do is select your first one, go to shape format, go to group and select ungroup. Then you'll need to change your picture. So you need to delete this one, go to insert, picture, picture from file. Let's select another picture, click insert, make sure it's selected, go to picture format, wrap text in front of text, Go to crop, aspect ratio, square, move your image, press enter, crop, crop to shape, circle. And go over here to the bucket icon, go to the line, solid line, make sure it's white. And then the width will take to six, press enter, then go up to the height and width. And then here, we'll just uncheck the box, put in three and three, press enter, check the box, and then move the image down. Select the outside box, holding down that command or control key, go to align, align to center. And then with the text, we can go over to the home tab, realign it over to the right, and then we can select it all Command or Control A to select it all and then paste in your new text. So you can see I've just pasted that in now. Then select the outside, go to Shape Format, go to Shape Fill and select the new colour. So I'm going to show you once more how to do it on this one, then speed up the video, come back, show you how to put in the title, the title graphics and the background. So again, go to Picture Format, Group, Ungroup, deselect, select the image and delete, then go to insert pictures, picture from file, select an image, insert, wrap text in front of text, crop, aspect ratio one to one, move your image, press enter, crop, crop to shape, circle, go to the bucket icon, solid line, and then change it to six, press enter, go to height and width, uncheck, three at the top, three at the bottom, press enter, and click the checkbox and move your image. Make sure it's aligned by selecting them both. Align, align to center, deselect, we'll just move that over a little bit to the right, 
And then once again, Command or Control A to select all the text. And then you can type your own text, but as you can see, I've just inserted it by copy and pasting. So let's do the others. So now we've finished everything, what we need to do is group it all together so they're all individually wrapped up as a group, then we can align everything. So go through, select everything, so select the outside, hold down the command or control key, make sure you've selected everything. I think this is one is already a group, so let's go to this one, hold down the command or control key, that's already a group, there we go. Hold down the command or control key and select three elements, go to shape format, group and select group. Do that again for this one and the one at the bottom. Okay, so the next stage is, is to decide how close you want these to be. So we can put them really close together or really far apart, doesn't matter. So, so put them roughly where you want them and then select them all, go to align, distribute vertically. That will put an equal distance between each of these. Then select the three to the left, align, align to left, and then these two here, align, align to right. So now you've got them all perfectly aligned. Let's group them together, select them all. Go to group and select group, and then align, align to center. So then they are now all perfectly lined up to the center of your page. So the next thing we do is the title, go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out text box. Then type your title, select it, go to the home tab, change your font if you want to, I'll select this one, and then increase the font size using increase font size tool. Then you can change the font color. I'm going to choose this dark teal. And then if I deselect and move this, you can see you've got a white background and a borderline. So select it, go to shape format, get rid of the outline by selecting no outline and shape fill, select no fill. Now we've done that, we can select it, go to align, align to center. That will pop it in the middle of your page. Let's move that down a bit and let's just make it a little bit bigger, increase font size. There we go and we're just going to center that again. Then I'm just going to put the tiny graphics at the top and bottom and that's really easy. Go to insert, shapes, square, click and draw out a rectangle that will fit right across your page. Then go to the outline again select no outline, go over to the format shape again, go to the bucket icon, this time go to fill and go to gradient fill. Now to make your gradients you need to go to the first marker here, go to the colour and then select a colour of your choice, go to the second marker, you can see it's highlighted with this orange outline, again go to colour, select your colour, then choose linear. You can choose others if you want to, but I've chosen linear. And then on here, go all the way over to the right and you can see left to right or linear right. Now, if I pull this to the left and right, you can see how my gradient changes and you can see that happening up here. Once I'm happy, I'm just going to select it, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag out another one for the bottom. If you think this is a bit high, you've got this giant gap at the, t at the bottom here, select it and just use your arrow keys because it's all nice and centered to move that down. And we can do that with this one as well. Perfect. So once that's complete, you can save it in the normal fashion and you can send it as a PDF or as a template or as a Word document. If you can't be bothered to do all of this and you'd like to download a copy, there is a link in the description below. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.